Hello my friends. Welcome to Painting with Harold. I am Harold and tonight we have a 16 by 20 inch canvas turned on landscape and all I've done tonight is I got two little marks you can see I hope in the camera and I just put a thin even coat of liquid white up top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video on how to paint clouds. Then I'll come back and I'm going to do a second video on how to do a mountain. Then I'm going to come back and do another video on how to do grass and trees. And through all of those steps, we're going to just make a painting one step at a time throughout those steps. And I'm going to pick up a one inch brush. And this is the one inch brush that I used to put the liquid white on with. I'm not going to wash it. I'm just going to come over here to my paper towel and knock a little bit of that out. And then I'm going to go straight into some Prussian blue. I'm just going to tap some color right on the brush. Just tap it right on the brush. And then I'm going to come up making the little egg strokes that we always make. Then I'll put a little more paint on the brush and I'll come in this corner. Because remember, we always want our corners to be a little darker than the rest of the painting. And that's to draw the eye to the center of the canvas. And we want it to get lighter as it goes down toward the horizon. So you want it darker up top and lighter at the bottom. And try to leave some light spots in your sky while you're while you're painting it. And those those will leave little indications of movement in your sky if you got light spots and dark spots. It'll just look more realistic. Now, I've had several questions about making clouds. Now I did do a video back when this channel first started and I went back and I watched that video and I'm going to tell you I, I, I apologize for that video because it was it was poor quality uh, it was poorly done and basically it sucked. I mean <laughs> It is what it is, and you know me, I ain't going to lie to you guys. Alright, so once you come up and you start making your sky, you know, just like we said, you want it lighter at the horizon, darker at the top. We're going to come back up here now, and we're just going to start blending across real lightly from the light color up to the darker color. About like so. And that's all we're doing is just brushing out the real harsh brush strokes that that we leave when we're making the little egg strokes. And you can see we got several little light spots and we got a dark spot, and that's that's perfectly fine. That's what we want. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick us up a fan brush. And this is a number six fan brush. That's all it is. And I'm just going to go right up here into a little bit of the titanium white. And I'm going to load up both sides of this brush. Now, anytime you start to do clouds in your sky, your first thing you got to ask yourself is where's my light source? Right-handed people usually have their light source coming from the right side. Uh, it's just natural that way. Left-handed people seem to do the left side, and that's perfectly understandable. It's it's natural. Uh, one of the things that I see a lot of people do in clouds is is they will. Uh, instead of keeping the brush moving, is they'll sit in one spot too long 
and it, it just it muddies up your your sky and muddies up your cloud and when you go to blend it out it just it will not take on that cloud shape for you so what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll just start with just a corner of that fan brush and we're just going to keep it moving in little circles little circles that's all we want to do just little circles just like that when you start running out of paint swap over to the other side and just start back little circles that's all you want to make is little circles with a fan brush and we'll pick up a little more paint and we'll come up here and we'll finish it out just giving it a little little shape we'll even come back here and grab this back and we'll give it a little a little shape and carry it on off the canvas now your fan brush will go to picking up some of the blue and if that happens just uh, get your napkin rub some of the color out and uh, come back up get started with clean paint that's all you got to do <laughs> and then we'll take load the brush up again uh, we'll come over here on this side now we'll start at the top with this one and we'll work our way out and we'll just just give it a the corner of the brush just keep that keep that brush moving that's all, we, that's all you got to do keep that brush moving just keep it moving just like so now one thing also you can do after you do all that is you can take you some midnight black and that's Bob Ross's midnight black because it's got a little lavender in it and you can take you some <coughs> some titanium white very little and just tone the color down some to where it looks like a light lavender and you can load a little bit on your fan brush it don't take a lot for this step but you can come back up at the bottom of that cloud and just come up into it a little bit and just come across and just kind of lightly rub along the bottom that's all you got to do just lightly rub but still making those little circles and keep that brush moving see how I'm doing that just real light real light but I'm keeping that brush moving in little circles just like so just like that that's all you got to do and if you, if you want to put some kind of like accent clouds up here you can uh, Say you want a little, couple little small ones over here. You can load you just a little paint on you on a smaller one inch brush. I mean a fan brush, or you can use the same size. But just come up here and just, just kind of rub you in a little, just a little random shape. I mean it, it don't have to be nothing to it. You know nothing fancy. Just, just put you some indications up here of clouds. And this will just make it look like clouds way off in the distance back here. Because basically all you're doing is just staining the canvas with, with a little white. That's all you're doing. And they'll just look like clouds way off. Alright, once you get all that done, pick you up another one inch brush. Clean and dry. And then come up here using, using just the corner of the brush. We're going to probably use about that many bristles of this brush. Probably about that much. When you come up here and place it, let's see if I can get this positioned in a way that you can see it. You're going to come up here and you're just going to blend real lightly but still making those little circles. You're going to blend that that lavender color that you just made into the cloud but you want to stay out at the top of the cloud. Don't don't get up in the top. Because it's important that you leave that that white part up at the top. Like that. 
we pick up a little hair and we just eat him out. All right. And then we'll do the same thing with this cloud. Just real lightly blend, making little circles along the bottom, making sure we stay out the top. And then for the little clouds, you can just kind of brush over them real lightly, real lightly, and just push them down into the into the sky. That's, that's all there is to it. Just real lightly. Now. All I did was knock the little paint out of my one inch brush and I'm going to come back up now and I'm going to make a movement to where I'm going to come in from the bottom of my cloud and I'm going to come in and swoop around just real lightly. Just swoop around. And whenever you, if you, if you paint with me or the majority of people will say fluffing it up. That's kind of what they're referring to on this step. And so we're going to come in and we're going to fluff up the cloud. Well, that's this little movement right here is all it is to it. That's it. And then knock off a little more color. And then just very lightly come across and just set them clouds right down into the sky real light. Now, if you want to paint some real bright clouds, like on a real bright day, let me show you how you do that. Get out a little more white here. I didn't put out quite enough because I didn't think it'd take a lot for this. Let me put out just a little bit more. And I'm going to pick up a filbert brush next. Now you don't have to do this step with a filbert brush. If you don't have one, you can do it. You can do it with a fan brush. But I'm just going to pick up a filbert brush. And that's that's all it is. It's just a. Let me see. This is a. Ooh wee! I can't see. My numbers is wore off. It may be a number four, maybe. But anyway, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to pick up a little little paint on both sides of my filbert brush. And it's about how I loaded it up. It's loaded both sides. And I'm going to come up here at the top and I'm going to touch these, these clouds real lightly. And I'm still making the, the, little, the little circle shapes. That's all I'm doing. Just making those little circle shapes. And I want these I want these clouds to uh you have to keep that if you go to picking up blue you have to keep that knocked out. You want this color to stay pure. But I'm just making little little circle strokes up here with my filbert brush, just like I was doing with that fan brush and you just come up and that's all you do is just on the outside edge make you a few few little circle strokes because them circles are real important in clouds that's what gives it that that real fluffy I call it a crown. You can call it the top of the clouds or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. But I, I just call it the crown of the clouds. I don't really know the technical name for it. If you do and you want to share that information in the comments, feel free. But I don't have a clue what the technical name is. But I just, I like for the tops of them to be real, real fluffy and, and natural looking. To me they just look better. And then we'll come in here on this one and we'll do the same thing. We'll just add some little little white circles. Just 
making sure to leave that that white very noticeable out here on the on the top side. And if you go to picking up too much blue, knock some of that color off. Because if you're not careful, you pick up lavender too. And you definitely don't want lavender up on top. Unless your sun is coming from another direction. Because that lavender is just basically acting like the, the shadow of, of the cloud. Because you know a cloud's only vapor. And it's just, just up there floating around just doing little cloud things. Now these are these are basically about as simple a cloud as you can do. They're not the easiest clouds you can do by no means. There's several other little deals that you can do. You can take a one inch brush and just come across the sky and tap them some clouds and blend them out. Um, you can take the field brush and just make some small indications of cloud shapes. You can also take a fan brush and just come up and, and just make wild looking clouds. And then there's there's uh there's times that you know if you wanna if you wanna do something like fantasy clouds, you know, like uh real real weird colored looking clouds like all different colors you can do them too I mean all this is is a technique the colors or whatever you use in your technique that's entirely up to you that is all individual I don't think there's a a rule that says you have to make a cloud a certain way. And there may be, I don't know. Because I've never been to art school. Alright, once we've done this, we're going to come back again. And we're just very lightly this time. Probably a little light, less lighter than we did the first time. We're going to come up and we're going to blend again. Just like so. And we'll do the same thing to this one. Just trying to trying to stay at the bottom. Just real light. Real light. Just like so. See how we didn't disturb the top? <coughs> now we're going to disturb the top a little bit. Because we're going to come in here now with the fluffing it up. And most of the time... If you don't have a good thick paint, now this white paint has to be thick to do this. If that paint is not thick enough, when you go to doing your fluffing up of the clouds, you'll pull strings off into them. If you got a real thick paint, you still may pull a few small ones. And if you do, you don't really have to worry about them too much. See, I did that right there. Just pulling, just pulling a few. And that's all because I applied too much pressure. That was my fault. Most of the time, if you're using the right pressure, you won't pull those out. But now watch what happens. If you can see them, let me see if I can zoom in on them. Right, let me see. I really hope this works. All right, I guess that's about as wide as I'm going to be able to zoom in on this. But if you can see at the top of these clouds right here, right there, there's little strings coming out of them. And that's, I mean, that worries a lot of people. I mean, it just eats at them. Well, all you got to do when you come across is just kind of pull that. I mean, and this, this is just a real light, real light stroke right here. Very light. And just... Work them down, just like that. And now it's gone away. And you want to do the same thing over here on this one. Just 
very lightly, very lightly, brush across your cloud. Just like that. And just like that, you've made some what I think are really effective, beautiful kind of clouds. They are, I mean, to me, those, they're about as pretty as any cloud you'll make. Now, if you, if you really want to sit there and get technical with it and, you know, real, real realistic, like photorealism realistic, you can take a little small detail brush, and I'll show you what you can do, but I don't mean we're going to do all of them this way. But I will show you what you can do. You can come up here with a little small brush, and you can get a little paint on it. And you can come up here in little areas like this, and you can just kind of touch that white on. real easy like that and just go to just go to working it back and leaving the leaving the very top of it white see how I did that well now like I said this is if you really want to you know if you just want to sit here for for a long time and, and and sit here and do this. But now the effect it has on clouds is it's simply amazing. But when you're making a video, people get kind of bored real quick. So they don't want to sit there and watch you do this for hours. So when you're doing the the wet on wet technique that you know that Bob and, and Bill and most of the painters use It's kind of the lazy man's way of painting, is, is what Bob referred to it a lot as. But now you can see that right there, how it takes that blue and pulls it in, and the white and it pulls it in, and some of them, some of them even have a little yellow hue to them. But then you can take, once you do that, you can take a, you can get you a real, real soft blender brush like your what I call my bunny brush, but it's just a soft blender. And you can take that and just come across it real easy and just, I mean, that'll remove all the harsh brush strokes. And it'll make them clouds just as soft. You can even paint with these brushes. You can blend with them. See how you can come up here and you can just make that lavender color just as soft as you want under that cloud. Look at that. You can flatten it out a little. As you know, some clouds are flat on the bottom. And it's basically just, you know, what, what level of realism you want in your cloud. That's, that's all there is to it. But in this style of painting, that right there is perfectly acceptable as clouds. I mean, those, to me, they just look 3D, like they're just sitting there hanging and I don't know. I just it feels like you just reach up and touch them. But we're gonna call that how to paint clouds. And like I said, we'll come back and we'll do uh, how to paint a mountain. We'll do how to paint water. And when we get done with all of those how-to videos, this will make one final painting. And I hope you guys stay with me through this process. And I hope you enjoy it. I think it'll be fun. Well, thank y'all for joining me on this, and I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. I don't want an hour-long video, so I don't bore you guys. But just remember, I love you all. God loves you more. Y'all have a blessed night. Stick around for part two. I'll have it out just as quick as I can.